Any question? No, teacher. No, you can think of other ways or not for four different objects in a circle. Arrange them in a circle. Teacher, the four factorial divided by four is mean? It means you have four different objects, but because they are in a circle, there are many repetitions when you rotate them. When you rotate them, they are actually the same. Let's say if uh, A, B, C, then you turn them, it's still A, B, C. You turn them another way, it's still A, B, C. The number of ways you can actually turn, turn, turn them is... Ah, uh, okay, okay. So you have to divide by three factorial. If you have four objects, you have four objects like that, then uh, supposed to be four factorial, right? Uh, but because it is the, the, the same arrangement when you turn them a little bit, huh? then the A, B, C, D, you turn them also A, B, C, D. So actually they are the same. So you divide by four to get rid of the, the repeated same way, the, the same arrangement. To get rid of the same arrangement, you divide by four. If you have five objects, then you divide by five to get rid of the, the rotational rotational thing eh? the rotational the, when you rotate the objects around the circle right so you just remember it is n factorial divided by n uh, if if you have no question, then I carry on with the ring. But this ring permutation, the textbook, they, 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 they ask you about the ring permutation, but I don't know whether they ask in the SPM or not. This is the new syllabus. This is the first year they are coming out with this, this thing. So I don't know whether the ring is coming out because the ring is quite difficult, right? Okay. So never mind, since the textbook got the ring permutation, then uh, I also tell you about the ring permutation. And this is a ring. So yeah, this is a ring, right? The ring is different from a circle because this ring, uh, circle, they just lie on the table like that. Okay? The objects, they all lie on the table. You cannot lift up the objects, then flip them over. Whereas for the ring, uh, for the ring, you can take out the ring, uh, then you turn around turn around so when you turn around uh, you see that sometimes you see like this and you see like this they are different but when you turn them around hey it's the same ring you know but then you look at the ring here uh, you look at the ring here okay that now i say uh, this is blue pink and yellow is it blue pink and yeah so it's blue pink and yellow right then i turn it the other way around i turn it uh, I, it is yellow pink and blue so you may think that it's a different ring, but it's still the same ring, isn't it? It's the same ring, isn't it? <laughs> then you turn around, it is yellow, uh, uh, pink, and blue. So these two are blue, pink, yellow, yellow, pink, blue. They actually come from the same ring. They are actually the same arrangement. So it's not different arrangement. But if you put them on the, on the table, uh, then it is a different thing, right? It's like that. Yellow, pink, and blue. And you put on the table. Uh, yellow, blue, and pink. They are different, right? They are different. But if it's a ring, you can take out and you turn there, and turn here, and turn there, and see, oh, they are actually the same arrangement, right? Uh, if you don't understand what I'm talking about, you just ask me now. Ring. Ring. ring means you can take and you can turn them about and see whether they are the same arrangement or not. Understand, teacher. Understand. You, because you teacher, but wear. it means ring can, ring can tabale it. Ah, ring can tabale it. You can take out and you can turn, turn, turn and you can see whether they are the same or not. Mm. Then you compare. You say, hey, this ring is same and different from this ring. Then you turn around and see whether they are the same or not. If they are still different, then different. Right? Ah, I have, I have made many rings here, right? Many rings, okay, many rings here. So you you have to actually check, uh, You turn around and see whether it's the same or not. 
when you turn around then it's still not the same then it's not the same if you turn around then you see oh they are the same that means they're the same arrangement of colors of this one you have to people can wear ring la, or ring la, wear like that or you wear the the, brace, the bracelet or you wear the necklace like that this, this type of thing right you know how to make or not the manic manic uh, this this is the manic yes teacher you know how to make then you, you yes. get the money from me, then I pass to you, you can make a lot like this, then show people how to make the ring. Okay, right. So now, let me explain. Huh? Now, uh, when you look at circular mo circular permutation of three different objects, now we just now like, the circular permutation of three different objects, how many ways we say? Oh, we say there are two ways. Okay, there are two ways. But if I move on to these uh, three objects, then I arrange them in a ring. A ring like, like the chin chin, uh, chin chin, or the galang, uh, the bracelet. So you arrange them, the manik manik around the ring. around, And we take copy the same example from circular permutation. Yellow, uh, pink and blue. Yellow, blue and pink. If they are circular permutation, these two they are different permutation. But if they are ring permutation, they are ring permutation, then these two they are the same permutation. If you don't believe that these two they are the same permutation, you come and get the ring from me, right? Then you put like that, then you turn around, oh same, you come and get from me. Right? So they're actually the same arrangement. So how many ways can you arrange three different objects in a ring? There's only one way. No matter how you put the three in the, inside a ring, uh, different, you think that it's different arrangement, when you lift up, then you see they are actually the same. So there's only three objects, there's only one way. Okay, right. So uh, how to decide without lifting the, the, the ring up, uh, take up the ring then turn around I don't want to do like that I just want to see like that I, I can recognize that they are the same permutation is it possible or not to recognize that they are the same permutation yes even like that you lie them down flat without lifting up and turn you still can see whether they are the same permutation so I'm going to explain to you how to see that they are the same permutation okay so you look at the, the bottom here. Huh? Right. Here is yellow, pink, and blue. I go anti-clockwise. For the, the other one, if you look anti-clockwise, yellow, blue, and pink. So you think they are the same. But if you go anti-clockwise, -clock, uh, yellow pink and blue for one you you go clockwise the other you go anti-clockwise yellow pink and blue yellow pink and blue so when you go anti-clockwise one you go anti-clockwise one you go clockwise and the two of them come up with the same arrangement then the two of them will be the same when you lift up and flip over, they will be the same. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yes, teacher. Never mind, I will give you another example. Four objects, then you can see whether uh, they are the same or not. But how to calculate the permutation? If you arrange the objects in the ring, I, I, I explain. Huh? Oh, if you have three objects, it's supposed to be three factorial if you arrange them in a line. Now, if you arrange them in a circle, you have to divide by three. But if you want to arrange them in a ring, you have to divide by another time by two. So, if, if you want the ring permutation, you have to use three factorial divided by three, then divided by two. Why divide by two? To get rid of the the, the one that when you flip, they are the same. So you, to get rid of that, you divide by two. Now still not very clear, we look at another example to make it more clearly 